Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are there is a quiz in which a participant is asked four questions successively and then followed by the next participant. When all have finished one such round, the process is repeated. So four questions, then next participant, and then this process is repeated. Mandatory to answer all the questions. If a question is answered correctly, 10 points are given to that participant. But if the answer is wrong, 5 points given to the other participants, each given to the other participants. The first participant who gets 200 points wins the quiz. Three participants, Jack, Kane and Liam participated in the quiz. Jacob got uh, 200 points, Kane got 155 points and Liam got 175 points. Out of the questions asked, a total of 24 questions were answered incorrectly. So now this is a short and sweet killer set. We do not have much information given in this set. We need to answer questions using it. Okay. Now when we say Jacob got 200 points, so Jacob could have got points by his correct answers. He could have got points, uh, points by incorrect answers of Kane. He could have like, if we talk about the Jacob, uh, if we talk about Jacob points. So Jacob's correct responses plus Kane's incorrect responses plus Liam's incorrect responses. So we do not have any of these numbers, right? We do not know this total. And if you see the question, the question asks, who was asked the first question? So how could you figure out that who was asked the first question in the quiz? Now, let us put some thinking to it. Moreover, we do not know the number of questions that were asked. It is also already only given that 24 questions were answered incorrectly. Now, let us think into this. Let us say a person X is asked a question. So, if X answers the question correctly, X will get 10 points, Y and Z will not get any points. However, if X answers it incorrectly, X will not get any point, but Y and Z will get 5 points each. So in either case, the total points per question is 10. Okay. Now what we will do? Let's find the total points. 155 plus 175. That adds to 530 points. That means there are 53 questions in the quiz. Now, if you see the question, okay, so we have figured out there are 53 questions. So the 29 must be correct and 24 must be incorrect. Now, how do you figure out that who was asked the first question or further solve this? Now, if you see this, like how is the cycle going? Like one person is answering four questions, then four questions, then fourth questions x y z then four questions asked to x again then four to him then four to him so there is a cycle a cycle of 12 questions okay now if you have 53 questions 53 questions means we will need four cycles of 12 questions each plus five more questions so we we will make four cycles in each cycle, a person is answering 4, 4, 4 questions. So 4 into 4, 16 questions, 16 questions, 16 questions. Now these remaining 5 questions, one of them will get 4 questions. Once this person's 4 get complete, the next person gets another question. So technically, the number of questions this, that these people will attempt is 20, 17 and 16 in no particular order. Right? We do not know who is, now we have to answer who was asked the first question. So this is the number of questions that they answered. Now, as I said that we do not know correct and incorrect responses and correct also, like let us say a person has answered 20 questions. So he answered some X number of correct questions, then incorrect will be part of these two people. So let us formulate equations. Let us put some, assign some variables formulate equations and solve this set. So these are three people, Jacob, Kane and Liam. 
करेक्ट इन करेक्ट सो लेट एस ए बी सी डी ई एंड एफ दीज आर द नंबर ऑफ करेक्ट एंड इन करेक्ट क्वेश्चन ओके नाउ लेट एस सॉल्व फॉर दिस नाउ इफ वी सी दिस दिस इज ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड दिस इज ट्वेंटी फोर दैट इज द ओनली इंफॉर्मेशन अवेलेबल विद दिस now if we talk about jacobs points jacobs points are correct responses he gains points from getting correct responses and incorrect responses of others so basically 10 times his correct responses plus 5 times the incorrect responses of this plus 5 times the incorrect responses of this so that will be equal to 10a plus 5d plus 5f that equals 200 so we can simplify we can say that 2a plus d plus f equals 40 okay now we have the second equation that is the total number of questions that these people attempted so jacob attempted a total of a plus b questions okay so uh, we get this equation second equation is uh, the total number of incorrect responses that is b plus d plus f and that is known as 24 so we will put 24 why are we using this equation because when we subtract this equation we will be able to eliminate two variables d and f so when we subtract we will get 2a minus b equals 16 and second thing is total questions Solved is a plus b. Now this can be twenty, seventeen, or sixteen. So we have two equations: two a minus b equals sixteen, and a plus b equals twenty, seventeen, or sixteen. Now, if the person has, uh, let's solve for it. So when we add, we will get three a is equal to thirty six. 33 or 32 now this is not possible because the number of questions cannot be non integer so a will be equal to 12 or 11 so we'll make two cases so if we answer 12 correctly if we answer 12 questions correctly that means we are considering this scenario where the total number of questions answered is 20 so 8 will be incorrect when he answers 11 correctly that comes from this scenario wherein uh, he scored 33 points and must have attempted 17 questions so in this case incorrect responses is 6 now similarly let us formulate equations for others as well so for this we will get c plus d and the equation that we will get is let us just uh put this sum of things so 2a it will become 2c no need to write the equations again subtract and get the values this will become 2c this was minus b this will be minus d and this value is 40 minus 24th now here it is 40 minus uh so so this person for this person it will be 40 it will be 31 and for this person it will be 35 because 31 because when we make this expression so this value would have been 155 so if we find his points that is so i am writing uh, for this clarity 10c plus 5b because he will get correct questions incorrect from these two people so 10c plus 5b plus 5f equals 155 or the equation will be 2c plus b plus f equals 31 okay and then we will have b plus d plus f subtracted that is 24 this gives us b and f get cancelled 2c minus d equals 7 so this is 7 now this is 7 and c plus d can have any of these three values 20 17 or 16 if we consider c plus d 20 so we will get c equal to 9 so we'll let's add 3c will be equal to 
24 or 23 23 not possible 27 or 24 so c could be 9 or 8 now 9 in which case 9 in the case he answers 20 questions now this will be the case because in this case jacob has answered 20 questions so we cannot put here so this case it will be 9 and this case it will be 8 He is answering twenty questions. He will answer seventeen questions because twenty, seventeen, and sixteen. If Jacob is this, then it has to be Cain. If this is Cain, this is Jacob. This has to be Cain. Okay. So nine, and in this case, he should have twenty questions, right? So C is equal to nine when he he has twenty, and uh, that becomes nine and eleven. Now total is twenty nine, so twenty plus nine twenty nine, twenty plus nine twenty nine, uh, and seventeen plus seven twenty four, and this is seventeen plus seven twenty four. So we will get two cases of the number of responses that these people gave, right? Uh, the ones that they gave correctly as well as incorrectly. Okay. Now let us solve the questions based on it. Who was asked the first question in the quiz? Now, first question in the quiz will be the person who has attempted twenty questions. Now, this could be either Jacob or this could be Cain. So we cannot determine. But if the question was who was asked the last question, that also cannot be determined because, like, if the last, this is the first one, the one who answered twenty questions. Is the first one. This is the person who answered the last question. Okay, so first question cannot be determined. Who answered the maximum number of questions incorrectly? Now, in either case, you see that Cain has answered most number of questions incorrectly. How many questions did Liam answer correctly? In any case, we get the number as nine. If Jacob was asked the first question, that means Jacob twenty twenty questions. Okay, how many correct answers did Cain give? So this is the case that we are referring to. Question number four. In this case, Cain gave eight correct answers. If Jacob gave the least number of incorrect responses, how many incorrect answers did Cain give? So we are considering this case because in this case. Jacob has given the least number of incorrect responses. In this case, Jacob has more incorrect responses than Liam. So this scenario, incorrect responses by Cain is eleven. It asked correct in this case and incorrect in this case. So these are the answers to the questions. So this was the solution to this wonderful set. I hope you loved solving this set. so please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel